I want to share with you today my implementation of a bucket mousetrap with a magnet. Now this is nothing new. There's lots of bucket mouse or rat traps on the internet and um, there's even one with a magnet. And uh, But the, what I, the reason I think I have something to offer is I'm going to show you exactly how to make it. A lot of them they just show the general idea but they don't really show how to make it and believe me if you want to make it right it's very tricky. Now here's a couple of things about this particular uh, rat trap that makes it good. First of all, it's resettable. So if the if the mouse goes here or the rat goes here, goes down, it goes back and it resets on the magnet. Okay, it always resets. That's not easy to do because what happens is if if it's not done right, it just goes down into this position and that's the end of it. It doesn't come back up. It just stays there. So to get it to come back up is is quite tricky. See here. If I, if I just leave it like that, it doesn't go down. But in real life, the momentum brings it back to the magnet. The other thing about this that makes it very good, and this is very tricky to, to get right, is to have a magnet. Now, the magnet is a very good thing. Here's why. If you don't have a magnet, the mouse starts to go out here a little bit, and it can feel the balance shifting. And it has a good chance to get back before it's too late. But when you have a magnet here, it's quick. In other words, it, 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 it's all of a sudden, it's like a trigger. It's holding, it's holding the mouse, or the rat doesn't feel anything, and then bam, it goes. Here, I'll do a, I'll do a demo with a real, um, with a real, with a real mouse, or a rat. So the rat is here, it's going, it's going, it's going. There's no tilting of this platform. The platform is perfectly still. And then all of a sudden, boom, it goes down and it resets itself on the magnet. So how did I implement this? Well, first of all, there's a couple of interesting things about this design. First of all, if you notice, I don't have any holes through the, through the lower part of the uh, garbage can. I just put everything on top. So I take this, um, this, bar, this uh, wire, this wire here, and all I did was hot glue it onto the bottom. And you have to put it pretty close to this, to the, to the front, so that, so that uh, you get some leverage going out here, otherwise it won't work. And then what I did is I took this <coughs> screw, and I screwed it into this piece of wood all the way through so it's coming out the bottom. Now there's two things about this screw. The screw has a dual purpose. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. The first purpose is that you can adjust the weight by you can put little washers on here and then there's this bolt and you can keep it on and you can adjust the weight so that if so that you can get the weight exact amount. So for example, if I put some bait here, it may be too heavy, the bait may be too heavy. So I'd counterbalance it by putting something here. So this is adjustable. Now the other thing about this is that the screw goes all the way f f through and out the other side and then what I've done is I've hot glued and actually I use cable ties too, but but you could probably just use hot glue, glue wax, and and the magnets here are sitting on top of this thing, and the screw goes into the magnet. And okay, now you can adjust if the magnet is too strong, you can adjust the strength by unscrewing this a little bit, and if you start to unscrew it, it won't have as good a connection with the magnet, and it will become more weak. So it's actually adjustable. And how strong the magnet, the magnetic field is, by adjusting the screw up and down. So the screw has two purposes: it, it, it's adjustable to the, uh, to the to the pull of the magnet, and it lets you adjust the weight on this. Now the other thing that I found that I had to do is that I found it to be very tricky to have it reset itself. It looks easy when you see it in the internet, but in practice, it's very tricky to have it go down, and then reset itself and come back up. It tends to just stay down like this. So there's a couple of things here that I did to make it so that it resets. The first is that I put it close enough. If you notice this garbage bag, it actually uh, goes in. In other words, the bottom is smaller than the top. So that um, when this goes down, I put it at a distance so that it can't, it can't go too far. The, the, this part here, as it goes down, the garbage can becomes skinnier and it can't go too far in this direction. If it went all the way down, it wouldn't come back up. So that's the first thing I did. And the other thing I did was I put this little wire here, and you notice this wire is in the resting position, it's sort of straight down. 
but when it starts to go out, okay, it goes up, it goes out here, which gives it more leverage, and then that will tend to pull it down. So you can adjust this by cutting the length of this to the, to the right amount. And so you have this very nice design where it, uh, it has adjustable magnetic pull, it has a resettable, and you know, it's kind of easy to do because everything is on top. You don't have to uh, drill holes into the garbage can and everything like that. And it's very nice. It's, uh, I, I don't know if it's going to work. I'll be honest, I haven't tried it yet. But, but I think the main problem is maybe, you know, rats are smart. They may, uh, find, they may be suspicious, but, if but if I, I believe it will work. I'm going to have soapy water in the bottom so the rat will drown. I know animal rights activists don't like that, but too bad. And uh, there it is. I'll show it. Oh, no. Oh, the poor rat. It's drowning. Oh, I love that. Oh, I smell the peanut butter. Oh, look, look. Oh, mmm, delicious. Oh, mmm. Mm. Oh, no. Okay, well, there's my design. Like I said, it's something new. It's more that I wanted to share the implementation of this design because it took me a long time to get it right, I'll be honest. It's, it looks like it's easy to get right, but it's not so easy. It's, it's, it's a difficult to get it to all work properly. If you want it to just go once and not reset itself, it's pretty easy. But to, to have a resettable mousetrap and have everything exactly balanced the right way, not easy. Okay, hope you like my video. That's it. Bye.